Hi, it's Ken Hadrick, Dean of the Pi Academy, and I hope you'll stay tuned because I'm about to show you how to take these and turn them into this, the most gorgeous, the most delectable tomato tart you've ever tasted. Let's get started. So the tart we're making today is essentially a pizza, but not just any pizza. It's refined and it's a little bit showy, so it's great for company. Instead of bread dough, we'll use a buttery pastry, and then we'll layer on the flavor by adding pesto, Parmesan cheese, fresh summer tomatoes, and a little heavy cream. Now the foundation of this tart is our crostata dough that we'll make in the food processor. When it comes out of the processor, it's going to be a little soft, so you'll have to chill it for an hour or so before you roll it, which is fine because that'll give you plenty of time to get organized. Here's a little tip. After you mix the dough, dust it with flour, put it between sheets of plastic wrap, and roll it out just a little bit so it's slightly less than a half inch thick. When you thin it out like this, it will help it chill faster. And by the way, this is my favorite pastry for this tart because it makes a big tart. But you can use another favorite pastry if you like. Just be aware that you may have to scale down the ingredients to fit the smaller pastry. While you're waiting for the dough to chill, I want you to have seed, and then slice four or five large ripe tomatoes. Slice them about a quarter inch thick and then lay them out on a baking sheet that's been lined with paper towels to soak up the excess moisture in the tomatoes. I also want you to measure out one third cup pesto. Now it's very important that you make your own pesto from scratch using the freshest locally grown certified organic basil that you can find and that you pound it by hand with a mortar and pestle until it has the perfect consistency. Did someone just open the fridge? <laughs> In a separate bowl, I want you to mix a quarter cup Parmesan cheese with one and a half tablespoons fine cornmeal. We'll sprinkle this on top of the crust and under the tomatoes. Now, this is one case where it's okay if you use this kind of cheese instead of the really expensive Parmesan because whatever little spongy stuff they put in here with the cheese, it does a great job of soaking up the tomato juice and keeping your pastry from getting all soggy. Finally, have a quarter cup heavy cream and another quarter cup extra cheese standing by to sprinkle on top. You'll also want to get out a large baking sheet, uh, preferably one without sides, and preheat your oven to 400 degrees when your dough is ready to roll. Now, I'm going to roll my pastry onto a large sheet of floured parchment paper because then I can just slide it onto my sheet and bake the tart right on it. Now, if you don't have parchment, just roll it onto a sheet of wax paper and invert the pastry onto your baking sheet. One of the nice things about this tart is that the pastry doesn't have to be rolled out perfectly. A little irregularity is fine, but you should keep it slightly less than, say, a quarter inch thick. Now, leaving a one inch, one and a quarter inch border all around, spread the pesto over the pastry, then sprinkle the Parmesan and cornmeal mixture evenly over that. Starting along the edge, make a row of overlapping tomato slices. Make another overlapping row over that one and continue until the pastry is all covered. Then salt and pepper the tomatoes. Don't be stingy with them because the tomatoes will taste a little underwhelming without them. Now fold the pastry up over the tomatoes, working your way around the entire tart. If you're on parchment, you can use the paper to help you lift. Otherwise, use a spatula to help you get under the dough. As you work your way around, the dough will sort of self-pleat. That's good, that's what you want. Use your pastry brush to brush off any excess flour. Put your tart on the center rack and bake for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, Turn the heat down to 375 and slide your tart out of the oven. Sprinkle another quarter cup of the Parmesan cheese over the tomatoes and then drizzle the heavy cream over the top. Put the tart back in the oven and bake about 30 minutes more until it's bubbly and golden brown. And that's all there is to it. Summer, of course, is the best time of year to make this tart when you can get your hands on really great tomatoes. So head out to your local farm stand grab the goods, and head back to the kitchen. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope to see you back here at the Pie Academy again real soon.